title makes its mark every single season. This will be the 12th season. A lot of copycats out there. How do you guys remain the show to watch each and every year? I think you've got a very special, action-packed panel of judges, number one, that can't compete. You know, the, the other shows don't quite have that same mix that we've got, so that's special. And we also have a legacy of success. Yeah. I mean, the artists that come on this show, I just played the number one record, Philip Phillips, today on the radio. We've got, we've got proof that this works. It's a great record. I mean, this is the Picasso to me. This was the first one of its kind, still the best of its kind, so there can be copies. But you're never going to beat the There's Picasso. Only, There's only one original. There's only one original. <laughs> What are you thinking about the talent you're seeing so far and best and worst parts of being a judge and having to judge these kids? I think the talent's been amazing. I mean, Ryan and I were just saying earlier, surprised at some of the bigger cities, LA and New York this year, that are really showing up with great talent and Chicago. Usually in some of those smaller cities in the Midwest and the South is where we find the real jewels. But I'll tell you what, it's been great everywhere this year and the girls are yeah. the ones to beat. The girls are so dope this year, so hot. And I think, you know, the best part about being a judge is you get to find and nurture great talent. And in that finale, you can stand proud and pump your chest out and say, yo, we did something good. And you see them going to have success. You and Julianne have busy, busy schedule. She's at yes, the People's well. Choice Awards tonight. Yes, she is. That's right. Uh, I just said to her, what time are you finished? What time can we meet and have something to eat? So apparently later tonight. Do, do you hear bells? have you supported her recently with her revelations that have been so tough? She's very, very courageous, and uh, I'm proud of her. How excited are you to be here tonight? And the tables very. are turned. I mean, this, this first episode is getting screened, so you guys are going to be judged in a way. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's, it's very true. Right? Um, but I feel all right about it. Yeah. 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 And you've got a lot of exciting things coming up. You and Nicole nominated for Golden Globes. Yes. This weekend. Yeah, yeah, magical. How do you prepare for a day like that? What will you guys do? Uh, I don't know that it's any different for us. I mean, you know, we love going to the Globes. I've been a few times now with Nick. It's just, just a bit uh, extra magical being nominated at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. How has your life changed the most since all of this happened, since your world was turned upside down by American Idol? Well, a year ago I was sitting at home doing absolutely nothing, being homeschooled, just regular teenager, sitting on the couch eating cat like potatoes and stuff. Yeah. And now I'm like traveling everywhere. I'm here. I, I sang in front of J-Lo and Steven Tyler and Randy and now I'm in here are going to meet Nicki Minaj. It's just crazy that I've been on the show and everything's been happening so fast. What piece of advice, what one piece of advice would you give to these up and coming contestants on Idol? Uh, just keep striving for your dream. It does get hard in this competition and you get pushed a lot, but I mean, you got to push your buttons and just keep striving for what you want. So, How did you withstand the pressure? I don't even know. There's, there was so many things happening. There's people throwing up and falling down. I, don't, I can't believe I went through that process.